What's up guys? I'm Dan and I'm back with another craft brew review. Welcome back. It's that time of the year again. We're talking guys, Goose Island Bourbon County Brand Stout 2019 edition guys. I did this last year. It was my first review of Bourbon County. I've tried many variants in the past year and a half or so. Um, and I don't get a chance to review them. They're usually good beers to share. I don't really like sipping this one alone, but I think for this caliber and, and it's again, Black Friday, the release date of Bourbon County, guys, we got to try it on camera. I mean, again, I really don't love doing this because I love to share this with a buddy or someone who really enjoys craft beer, but for you guys, I'm going to do it. Whoever is watching out there, thank you so much for joining me. So this year's rendition, guys, is, again, 14.7%. I want to say last year's was that as well. I have one still sitting in my cellar downstairs. Um, and a quick update, I will be moving into my new house this coming week. So I'll probably, I don't know, I'm going to try to customize like a review room where I can try to kind of make these videos a little bit cooler and kind of give it a better atmosphere, if you will. So this is, again, guys, Bourbon County Brand Stout 2019. I could go over all the details, but as you all know, you know what this is about. You've seen this many, many years. Let's just crack into it and see what's up. So this is actually, oh, nice hiss on her too. This is room temperature. Maybe, actually, you know what? It's a little bit colder than room temperature. I had this outside of my car for about an hour, and then I brought this in, and it's been sitting in the house for about an hour and a half. So it's about 30 degrees outside. It's definitely got a little chill on it, and this was bottled on August 24th or 25th. I don't know. It says drink by August 20... It's saying it's good for like five, six years or something like that, guys. I don't recall seeing that last year, but whatever. Um, you can you can age these as long as you want, to be quite honest. I mean, it's a good, it's a good style for that. So let's crack into it and see what the appearance is about in the 2019 version. Oh, yeah. It's that signature, guys. Let's go a little bit harder. That signature, just beautiful, dark decadence. Can't see through this. It has, like, a little tinge of, like, brown and kind of, like, ruby red on the corners, guys. Probably can't see it so well on camera. I need better lighting for sure. Um, but, boy, that head went away really quick. It's kind of that, like, caramely, dark khaki, like, burnt brown kind of look to it. It was kind of clinging. There's some like nice alcohol lacing going on. Um, but boy, that went away very quickly. Uh, I didn't expect it to go away that fast. It seems like it was a little bit quicker than normal. But it did have like a dark brown, dark khaki, burnt, sugary, um, dark khaki to it, guys. That's what it is. It's that simple. So let's not uh, make this any more crazy than it is. Aroma, which I can already smell. Signature dark fruits, guys. Plums, raisins, um, literally like candied brown sugar, black licorice, Twizzler kind of thing going on. Maybe a tinge of the bourbon barrel, but I'm not getting much of the bourbon barrel on the nose. And this is pretty warm. Maybe like a little woody vanilla, um, um, charcoaly kind of vibe to it too. But again, the dark fruits shining in this as usual, guys. It's is what I'm told is it's a special bee malt base that they use in this. I don't know what the process is. If I could do this, I'd probably be a lot more rich than I already am. Not that rich. So, yeah, I'm getting a ton of those dark fruits, kind of a leathery, um, tobacco-y kind of thing to intertwine with. A um, little bit of like, yeah, dark Twizzler, candied brown sugar. Yeah, plum, raisin for days and days and days, guys. So let's go to a cheers. This is the Bourbon County Brand Stout 2019, guys. Thanks for joining me. A little bit of barrel on there. A little bit, a little bit. It's there. The barrel's apparent. I'm getting a very like oaky, vanilla-y kind of dry sweet. It's like a dry sweetness. I'm getting a lot of wood, I think, in this one. I don't recall that last year. The last time I've had this was probably like two months ago, and it was the 2018 version. I don't know. I think I might enjoy these when they sit and age, guys. I'm not sure on this. Um, I do like what this is bringing to the table this year, obviously. I'm getting, again, the dark fruits for days and days and days. The uh, black molasses -y, 
Um, but it's super woody. Like, I get more wood in this year's version. I don't know if I remember it that much. Yeah, I'm getting like a leathery kind of... I, would, I thought it was like more smoky last year also, but this is... Uh, it's kind of like that leather, um, super woody, um, dark fruit kind of thing, guys. I don't, I don't know where to go with that one. I, I am getting like way more wood than I normally remembered. It's super woody, oaky, probably from those barrels, obviously. Uh, and it is like a dash sweet, like almost like there's more like candied Twizzler in this than I remember. Like I, I, I really love the raisin fig, uh, plummy dark fruit kind of thing. But I'm, this is leaning more towards like that candied uh, Twizzler, um, uh, what else? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like this candied sugary vibe that's like a little bit more sweet than I'd like for it to be. Yeah, uh, maybe it's like the vanilla in this. Maybe the vanilla is a little bit higher concentrated than I remember. Again, could be from the barrel. And I am now as I'm sipping this. It's going down real smooth, guys. There's like a nice decadent elegant to it, uh, elegance to it. Um, but yeah, I'm getting like this woody, wood chippy, like, yeah, toothpicky kind of vibe to it that I don't remember it having that much of. Um, I do remember it having some, but it seems like this year's rendition's a little bit more woody to me. And I don't know if it's just my taste buds are off today, but I haven't drank anything today. Saved it special for this moment. Um, but yeah, I'm getting again, like those dark fruits for days and days, but it's not the dark fruits that I kind of remember from last year. Yes, they're still in there, but this is leaning more towards like the Tootsie Roll. That's the word I'm looking for. Like the Tootsie Roll, like sugary, dark molasses kind of thing and, and, and vanilla wood kind of intertwined. And, and that is more apparent than last year's version. Again, I wish it leaned a little bit more towards like the raisiny thing, the dark plum thing. Um, maybe a little bit. Uh, uh, less sharp on the wood. I mean, I know that this is world class. We're splitting hairs here, guys. Like I always say, we're splitting world class hairs, if you will, on this because this is just absolutely stellar. Still, you're not going to beat a Bourbon County brand style, guys. One of my favorite styles. And as this opens up, yeah. And as this opens up, it tends to get better. So that's the thing I want to say. Like the, the wooden stuff's a little bit sharp to me right now. But even like the sip I just took, kind of the layers start getting peeled back a little bit, guys. Th that time I got like more of like a Tabasco-y kind of like uh, um, um, smoky thing, you know. And I didn't get the smoke as much in the in the beginning. But now I'm getting a little bit more of it. It's leaning a little bit more towards the raisin equality. But I think, you know, my palate's getting adjusted to this. It's crazy. You could just sip this forever, guys. And um, I, I think even like Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews, he had mentioned it because I watched his review. It's the only review I've watched this year. And I actually don't even remember 100% what he said. Um, I know he enjoyed it, of course. But, uh, you know, you could just sit here for days and days and peel back all the layers that this beer brings to the table. And you'll still find new things with each sip you take the longer it sits out and kind of aerates itself, you know, guys. Yeah, I still get like a, a big toothpicky like woody presence in this. A little bit more than last year. A little less of the raisin, uh, fig, dark plum. It's leaning a little bit more towards like this vanilla kind of uh, barrel sweetness that, I, that is kind of more apparent to me uh, than last year. But it's like it's it's got that sweetness and then it goes into like this woody dryness. So it's kind of confusing my palate a little bit. Uh, still really enjoying this. 14.7 all day long, guys. Uh, yeah, now I'm getting like a little leathery thing that's kind of um, sitting on the back of my tongue there. So yeah, it just, it keeps opening up guys and new things kind of come out the more you drink it. That's why it's fun to drink this one with someone who appreciates it as much as you because then you can kind of bounce ideas off of one another, kind of go back and forth and see what each of you gets out of this beer. Um, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this one for a while, guys. Uh, don't critique me too hard. You know, there's a lot of things that I'll probably find the more I drink this that I didn't say on camera, but yeah, I'm leaning more towards like this uh, uh, brown sugary kind of um, dark molasses um, Twizzler Tootsie Roll kind of thing with like a vanilla woodiness more than I remember from last year, guys. Still a freaking world-class beer. Uh, pay whatever you want for this because 
you should. It's at a good price point, guys. You're going to find it from like $12.99 all the way up to like $19.99, maybe even higher. It should never be higher than that, but um, definitely worth the money you're going to spend on this. Another awesome job from uh, Goose Island, guys. Uh, I think I prefer last year's. I want to say more than this year's if we're just basing enough of that. Um, but where do I stand with this one, guys? Still got those big dark fruit notes for sure. Um, let's go four, seven, five out of five. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to go four, six, five out of five, guys. That's just where I sit today. That's just how I feel. Um, I'll let this age and I'll probably re review it at another time. Maybe I'll even review last year's in front of the camera for you guys at a later time. Thank you for joining me, guys. I'm really grateful for all of you that watch my channel. Um, it's not anything crazy. I don't have crazy good camera angles. I don't have crazy good mics or anything, but if you sit through these videos and watch them, uh, I do appreciate each and one, every one of you guys. So thank you so much. Um, it's been another fun one. I'm Dan, guys. I'm over and out. I will be sipping this one tonight. I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm.